today I'm going to show you how I do my cling wrap. Um, now these are glad and I think I got it from the Dollar Tree, but plastic wrap uh, nails. So we're going to do them, you know, something like this. They always turn out different though. So I've already prepped this nail. So I've already filed it and used my bond aid and I've used primer for gel nails. So they're real thin, so I made them really thin, hopefully you can see that. Uh, and I made them thinner here, um, you know, this way, and thinner this way than I want them, because otherwise they'll end up way too fat by the time you get done with this. So I'm going to go ahead and do a base coat since it's all ready, um, and I'm going to do these with poly gel. So. First, we've got to do a layer of base gel. This is by McCart. Try to drop your skin the best you can. And so we're doing it with this right here, base coat. And I'm using my Delish travel light. I'm going to put it in here for 30 seconds. I'm going to use the McCart and this is their poly gel and I'm using uh, clear, so 001 clear. And I got mine off Amazon along with my, you know, base coat and then later we'll use their top coat too. The chrome powder that I'm going to use when we get to that is uh, beautiful colors I got them off Amazon because I really liked the group of colors. They have some so now we have some poly gel. Now there's a couple ways you can do it but um, I don't want this to be real thick so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it down the middle mostly. So I'm just going to do, I'm just going to go down the middle basically. You don't want too much, but you know, you need a fair amount so that you, this will, you know, you'll be able to do this. So, so I'm going to go ahead, I've already cut a little piece of plastic and I actually use, am using the same one on all these. And so I'm just going to put this down here on this. Now you can spread it out <clears throat> if you want to first. Um, I've done it both ways, but I'm going to do it this way. Uh, because you have to be careful when you do it, you don't want it too too close, too much of it, too close to your cuticle and your sidewalls. Otherwise, it's going to be all funky and you're going to have to file more and, you know, then you're going to likely file all your chrome powder off. So anyway, this is the way I'm going to do it this time. And I've already done it on a couple of nails, so I actually kind of like it. So I'm using, you know, something like this, something that's, you know, got a pointy edge on it and then I'm just going to kind of, you know, I'm just going to do this and try, try and turn it this way and I'm going to do it like this because I found that if I cover the whole thing to the sides and the cuticle and everything, I end up, it's easier to get it too much, you know, smushed down there and so you're going to get some of that anyway, and you're going to have to file, but you just kind of want it to be like, you know, like, I don't know, like ice or something like that, something frozen. Okay. And I like most of mine three-fourths, two-thirds to three-fourths down, or half, or whatever, the bottom half more so than up here, but you know, you can do it up there if you want. You just got to be really careful by those cuticles because also if you get it up all lumpy high up there, you're going to file it anyway. So anyway, so I think I got it good enough. You just have to play with it until you get it the way you like it and you, you know, figure that out as you go. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put this in. Go ahead and put this in. 
cleanse the box. I'm going to put it in here for, I would say, between 30 seconds and 60 seconds. I haven't had any trouble getting plastic wrap to come off, so hopefully you won't either. You know, if you, if you do your little stabbing marks, you know, like I did, uh, so far I've not had any trouble getting the plastic wrap off. You definitely don't want it to get folded under or something where the, you know, the plastic gets folded under. Then it might be a problem. And, you know, if you want to do maybe your first one, just do 30 seconds and then pull off the plastic, you know, before you go, you know, 30 to 60. Okay. So there it is. And we're just going to carefully pull this off. So see what that looks like? I don't know, interesting, isn't it? <laughs> so really easy to pull that off. <clears throat> and so not too bad, you know, lumpy. It depends on how, you know, also if you want yours to be how much more dimensional or whatever you want. I kind of like it in between. And also it's easier for me to do, you know, clean up this part. I'm going to go ahead and set this the other 30 seconds before I file. Just in case. Because the poly gel needs 60 seconds to fully cure. So there we go. All right, so now it's sticky, you know, because it's, I haven't wiped it off with alcohol and I don't want to because I want to be able to put my chrome powder on. I want it to stick. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just anything that's on the edge. Now you don't have to do this. You can do it after you do the, your, you know, after, but I, I'm gonna do it because I want it to be basically in the shape that I want. Um, before I put my chrome powder on so that hopefully I won't over fry my chrome powder to take off too much which is easy to do. You just got to be careful not to over file you know when you're doing this because otherwise you'll lose all your effect and you'll have to start it. File it back all the way down to almost nothing and start all over again up by the cuticle which is kind of why I don't like doing it too far up too close to the cuticle you know when you're doing a little stabbing stuff because you're just going to file it anyway, you know, if you don't want to have bumps up there, and especially if you don't want your nails too thick. Just trying to get the basic, you know, shape I want. Okay, so I'm just going to try and carefully brush off the excess dust, and then, and then I'm going to go ahead and get my chrome powder over here some of my little sponge applicator and I'm just going to start rubbing it in wherever you know you think you want it and don't worry about it being too much on here I mean at least I haven't had a problem with that it's really easy to over file you know get too much get too much off And if you get too much up, if you get it up higher than you want, don't worry about it because you know you can always kind of file that. And that's good. I'm gonna use my little rainbow brush. Um, this is also a Dollar Tree, <laughs> and just get the excess powder off. Now, at this point, you can use clear builder gel, you know, if you have it and you want to. Um, I'm just going to use the McCart No Wipe Top Coat. I'm just going to do that and put it on a little thicker than I would normally do. And I use it, I guess, like a builder gel in the bottle. You don't want to overdo it and you got to be careful about the sides. So like I got, you know, a, I don't know, a little extra amount on there, not overly hopefully. And then I'm just going to go lightly on top because I don't want to get all that powder back in my bottle either. And so I'm just going to pull it down through the bulk of it, mostly through the middle. And then I'm in frame. And then I'm going to do a little bit close, a little bit towards the cuticle and stuff, but I don't want to flood it, so and I don't want to overdo this either, because you're going to file some anyway. 
you know, you can do this if you want it to kind of pull down, pull out a little bit more gel. And kind of look at it to the side and kind of, you know, fill it in there. But I don't want it too thick to down here. So I just have to pile it off, so. But anyway, you know, just get it the best you can. You're gonna file it anyway. Okay, so hopefully you got to see that good enough. it and I like to set it for 60 seconds on this one because I did put it on thicker um, so you know I want to make sure that it is set good okay so actually that feels pretty good and that was 45 seconds so awesome. so I'm gonna go ahead and file it so here's the time if you if there's something up if there's more up in your cuticle area than you want or if you want it a little bit lighter somewhere else, you know, here's a chance to do that. But I think the hardest thing is, um, especially if you're like me, it's not to overfile and take off your powder. You know, take off too much of your chrome powder. So. You know, but you don't want it too thick either. That's why you need to start it out with it really thin. You can use a form, you can use a clear tip, you know, whatever way you like to do it. I just filed my, since basically this is like a fill on my nails, I just filed it super thin. Okay, so I'm looking at it kind of from the different angles to see. You know, and I do have the effects and it looks like I've got stuff everywhere else that I need. And you just kind of, you know, you just practice with this and see, you know, how do you like it? Do you like it super, you know, do you like it lighter like this? Um, you know, or do you like it a little heavier or like see where you've got these kind of wrinkles, kind of look, frosted look. Do you like it heavier? have a little dip somewhere you know you can kind of just add a little in there you know if you don't want to have to go over the whole thing with some more builder down go through the odd again so we're going to do a little dip just kind of fill it in right then there we go so we're going to do it 45 seconds or 30 seconds and all of this i got from amazon okay so it's done so, yep, no wipe, top coat, and so pretty, kind of fun, and and I think, you know, the more you practice stuff, it'll become more fun also, and you can do whatever colors, you know, you want to do. I mean, you can do a base color if you want it, if you don't want to have this nude, kind of nude uh, chrome look. I think this is really pretty, it's kind of fun. I've done it also where you do, you know, a color, gel color. I think it's Valentine's already. <laughs> anyway, so thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you have a happier new year. And um, I hope you try this, and it's a lot of fun for you. So, bye-bye.